In July, we covered a project called Aider. It's an AI pair programming in your terminal to create powerful software, write code, and code out entire production-ready applications using GPT-4. It's quite amazing as it lets you pair programs with various different OpenAI models to edit code stored in your local Git repository. You can start a new project or work with an existing repo. Ader makes sure edits from GPT are committed to Git with commit messages. It's able to work with well pre-existing large code bases, but you may actually wonder, what's the actual purpose of making another video on it? I'm stating the exact same things as I did previously. Well, there's a reason to this, and it's because it has gotten a new amazing feature. And this is something that elevates the project to the next level. This new feature is the addition of the new GPT-4 Turbo model with a 128K context window. This makes Ader very fast and better at coding now. This is your perfect coding pair and it will revolutionize the way you code. Throughout today's video, we'll dive a little bit deeper into understanding this new Ader upgrade as well as exploring some of the cool features that it has gotten over the past few months. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you are not a part of our private Discord, you are definitely missing out. We give out paid subscriptions for AI tools for free, guys. You're able to get amazing knowledge, different types of courses, research papers, as well as different networking and consulting opportunities. If you're interested in any of this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below as it will definitely elevate your AI game. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Hey guys, I started this new thing where if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely do so with the link in the description below. I can be giving you my consulting in various different aspects, whether that's AI related, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Ader, which is your AI pair programming in your terminal. Now, with this new addition of the GPT-4 Turbo model being integrated with Ader, it definitely revolutionizes the way you code. It makes it so much faster and better at generating larger context of code with the new 128K context window. To showcase this, let's take a look at the speed benchmarks of GPT-4 Turbo as well as GPT-3.5 Turbo. Now, this is where the two models are coupled with Ader which is being used to basically take the benchmarks for prompting while using ADAR tool for code editing. Now, speed comparison is something that they tested this upon and it reveals that GPT 3.5 is about six to 11 times faster, but we can see that GPT 4 Turbo is four to five times faster than the June counterpart. And we can see that in the graph over here, it surpasses all of these other models and it just shows that GPT the new GPT model is just making it so much more faster in terms of coding, generating different contents with the AI tool. Now, they did the exact same thing, but to test and evaluate the code editing skill. Now, they did this while coupling ADAR with the new OpenAI models. In this case, we can see that the results show that the GPT-4 Turbo model is faster, which is achieving a 53% success rate on the first try. And with the new GPT-3.5 Turbo model, it is around three to four times faster than its previous models with a comparable success rate after its first try. Now, we initially knew what Ader was actually able to do, but imagine it being able to do all of these things that it previously did, but with the new GPT-4 Turbo model. It will not only complete it faster, but it will make it way better in terms of generating the content for the code with these different types of examples. For example, this Hollow World Flask app would be way more intricate and would provide way more insights to creating this application with the GPT-4 Turbo model. After all of that, you probably must be wondering, how can I install it right away? And I'll be showcasing this in the next step of the video, but there's a couple of things that you will need before you start off installing this. Now, there's this application that is called Git, which is needed to help clone the repository onto your desktop. You'll need Python as your language editor, and you'll need Visual Studio Code to help configure and run different things with Ader. 
So once you have these things installed, we can move forward with the installation. So to install this, what you'll need to do is click on this green button on the GitHub repository of Adar. Now I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it. Once you have clicked on it, copy the link for the actual repository. And what you want to do is open up command prompt. Now, once you have this open up, type in git clone and paste the link for the repository and click enter. This will start cloning the repository onto your desktop. It'll take a couple seconds to a couple minutes. And once this is done, you can type in CD Adder to go into the actual file. Now, what I want you to do next is go onto the installation page for Adder, which is a blog post that showcases what you need to do next. Now, they have a couple of instructions as to what you can do. You can install the Adder chat package with the pip from one of the sources. Now you can do this with the following commands, but in the case of this video, we're gonna follow through with what we need to do uh, to have it fully functional with a chat. So what I'll do is copy this command over here, python m pip install the adar chat. So we can copy and paste this into our command prompt and it will start installing the chat that is needed for adar. It'll take a couple of minutes and once it's done, I'll be right back. Once it has finished installing, we'll need to now export and input our open AI API key within Adair. So what you need to do is you need to copy the following commands. Uh, if you're on Linux, Linux or Mac OS, you need to copy the export open AI underscore API key equals your API key command into command prompt. But if you're on Windows, you just need to do the set command. So I'm going to go along and input my API key and then we'll begin move forward to the installation process. Now, if you're not able to set your API key, you can open up Visual Studio Code and then you can create a YAM file and you can input the ADAR key into that. That way it will be able to function with the API key that is in the directory of ADAR file. Now, once that is complete, you're able to start using it. Now they have a usage, usage instruction, sorry, which showcases what you need to do to start using it. They have different commands where you can add files, drop files, run different commands, and it gives you a lot of tips. So if you're interested in this, definitely follow through and you can get a lot more information as to how you can start running these different commands. But in the case that you watch this video for using the GPT-4 Turbo model with the 128K context window, you need to run the following command. Copy this into your command prompt and paste it into Adar, and you'll be able to start running this new GPT-4 Turbo model if you have the GPT-4 Premium plan. So once that is set, you can then follow through and start generating things with Adar. Yeah, you can see in this example over up here, you're easily able to run different commands by setting different prompts. In this case, this person was able to give this prompt, add a name parameter to the greeting function, add all the types, and it then does the following code for that. And you can see this is just an example of what you can do. There's many different things that we'll take a look at in the next segment of the video as to what you can do with this new GPT-4 Turbo model being associated with Adair. Now take a look at this example where a user was able to download, analyze, and plot the US census stat with Adair. Now this is something where a user utilized Adair and GPT-4 Turbo to perform the data analysis on the US census data. And it basically was inspired by Ethan Mollick's blog on ChatGPT plugins. Now these tasks include querying GPT-4 for downloading different methods, proposing hypothesis, generating code for the data retrieval, as well as the hypothesis testing. And you can see that it utilized OpenAI's model. And we can see that with the one-on-one -on -one interaction with the, with the AI, it was being able to generate the graph all the way at the bottom of the blog post. And we can see that it was able to summarize all the plots as well as the results for the census. This is absolutely amazing. And it's able to do this within a couple of minutes. Whereas if you were to do this on your own, it would take a couple, one hour probably, or a lot of time because this is something that does it autonomously and it does it at ease. Another example of Adar being used is through a complex multi-file change with debugging. And basically, the chat transcript documents a complex change within the code and it involves different files. And this is where the user was able to attempt to update the test using an input mock from a single prompt. And you can see over here that the prompt was given over here. And from this prompt toolkit, initial changes encountered issues, but we see later on that the prompting collaborated with the debugging 
so that it could include all the errors and messages from the snippets of the prompt toolkit. And from this, the user makes edits outside the chat and Ader was able to detect these changes, offering to commit them. Additionally, it was able to interrupt a GPT-4 response with C+, and it was able to provide classification and receive a more useful response. And we can see that all the way at the bottom, it's able to generate this response. And it's something that I highly recommend that you check out because this gives you a lot more information on how ADAR is able to do this. They have many different examples, which is something that you should definitely take a look at so you can get a better idea as to what you can do with ADAR. And that basically concludes today's video on this amazing programming pair within your terminal. Now, this is something that will be very useful for you, especially with the new edition of GBT4 Turbo. So definitely take a look at this with all the links in the description below. And that basically concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. If you guys haven't followed or subscribed to the world of AI, definitely do so. So you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Definitely check out our private discord. Uh, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely do so. And lastly, make sure you guys follow the Twitter page if you guys haven't already. And with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.